Hey buddy, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back with, um, let's show them, got me, my bro post up in here. We're gonna yes, talk sir. about some of these new rumors, uh, to see what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, what's going on with your post? I'm good, man. You know, it can't be a show without post on it, man. This, I feel like this is the first time I started the show. I be doing a lot of working, man. So I know, man. Yeah, we trying hard to get to the shows now not nowadays. But you know me, I'm for the fire that 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 pro up after this show and um finish flipping some games on the pro, man. Oh, uh, okay. Somebody to subscribe to the channel. Whoever just subscribed, I appreciate it. I heard it go off in my ear. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Like I said, we did the multiplayer. Um, we did the mo uh, we did the multiplayer uh. Play, oh, I'm sorry, multiplayer podcast yesterday. Uh, that's my man, Ian. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I said, you know, of course, everyone's talking right now about E3 and Sony not uh, showing up. Like, I didn't really get your, you know, your thoughts about it. Like I said, you know, we, listen, as you guys come in, you know the routine, hit the like button. Uh, we're going to try to have a little fun here today, man. You know what I mean? A little bit fun. You know how we do. A little bit fun. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Let me mute myself in the background. Hey, Boy, stop playing with me, pussy ass nigga. Me that. Okay, hold on. Put them in the background. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold yeah, on. shout out to everybody in the chat. I see a lot of people joining. Yeah, yeah, we're having a little fun here today, man. Like, you know, cut up just a little bit, just a little bit. Hold on. I'm coming. But like I said, you know, Sony not going to E3. That's the, that's, 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 that's the talk. That's the talk of the week, right? The talk of the day. Mm. You know what I mean? We went from straight Microsoft giving that trash of XO18 to them not showing up. You know, to Sony, sorry, Sony not showing up to E3. But what do you, like I said, as the room filling up, you know, I mean, we're going to talk about this PlayStation 5, uh, these new rumors, and why Sony's not going to E3. But before we get into that, what are your thoughts about them not coming to E3? I Let, mean, hold on, before you get E4, let's hold up. I got over 100 jokers in here, only nine likes. Come on, make the like button for your boy, man. I like hop, I think I hopped out the deathbed and came in. Hit the like yeah, button, man. Hit the, hit the like button, man. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. It's just moving us uh, the the mouse over to to that thumbs up and hitting. It ain't nothing. Ain't no work in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't no work. You're barely moving the finger. Mm -hmm. What's up, Z? Hey, what's, what's my good brother Ian? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, what's going on Ian? Yeah. What's going on, guys? Good, Ian. How's it going, man? Yes. Good, good. How are you guys doing? Everything's cool, good, but bro. study. But like I said, I haven't spoken. Hi, Daddy. You post about it. Like, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about the? Oh. I had a day to let it digest. I mean, look, man, what they didn't show up to Gamescom. They um didn't do Paris Week, I think. Um, they didn't do PSX um 2018. So they didn't do Gamecom Paris Week or um uh, PSX this year. And now they're um not doing E3 next Wait, hold on, year. Hold on one second. Hey, hey. You're, you're, yeah. uh, I'll meet you back. Your map, your your uh your background coming through. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, um, sorry. that lets me know either, okay, from a non fanboy perspective, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you both sides of the. This mm -hmm. is from a non fanboy perspective. I think from a, a a cost perspective, I think it's more viable for them to um, stick with a PSX style um, presentation. Um, I Over think E3? from a, it, yeah, I think it's more. I think it's more cost effective than doing both shows, and you have to choose. You have to choose one or another, one or the other. Um, it's just in this case, if they do PSX next year, um, is it going to trend as much? Is they going to get as much of their fan base there as they would at um, at E3? This also tells me that in terms of games. Not so much of them blowing their their load that they don't want to keep showing the same thing over and over again as far as this generation, and that pretty much all of their in house and third party, even Square Enix just announced that everybody is working on PS Five titles now. Okay, and so well, that's and okay. I know. Listen, I'm, listen. Not to cut you off, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we still don't know about the Last of Us multiplayer, right? Don't we don't even know about the Last of Us game. We don't even know if that's coming out in 2019 because Sony only said Dreams and Days gone for 2019. So yeah. we don't know if that all goes to Shushima is coming out 2019. Okay, well, like I said, we still, like I said, you know, um, we don't know that. Um, mm. So this, like I said, there's still a lot that it could show. Like I said, you know, like, I'm sorry, this is your, I'm not going to cut you again, I'm sorry. 
I ain't gonna you, pass on you. Get you what? No, 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 no. You ready to pass on? I, but, I ain't gonna pass on you. I want your perspective. You can, you know what I'm saying? No, well, what, like I said, I'm just saying, you know, they can do their own show, yes. But I, I'm just saying, bro, this is E3. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. The world, the world. Yeah, they, they no, listen, I'll give you an example. No, no matter how good Paris mm -hmm. Games Week show is, how good PSX be, or whatever the case may be, mm hmm. E3 again, you know, those stages, you know, if it's the hardcore game, E3 is getting for everyone. The media, yeah. everyone's there. Click, 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 click. This is like our, 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 our Tonys, our Emmys, the Super Bowl, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so. I I, I think Sonya, I don't know if, 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 if you would call it condescending, but wherever they go, the media will follow. You know, I guess that's how they that's how they're looking at it. Um, if they do their own event, I'm pretty sure they send out invites to the press. The press is going to show up. Um, they fan base always shows up at um, um, PSX. Um, so the money that they would um, would have spent on E3 can be invested in their own show. This is me paying off my contract. No, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is me keeping you know in line with my my my, my contract because I've been going straight on the outside the lines and you know um Kratos been sticking up the pony lawyers on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, I guess they can take um and then um what was that dark cloud um on Twitter. Mm -hmm. He's and he stated that um if you think that a Sony's blown a load or we blown our load. Oh, he said we you got he he said Sony. He said if you think we blown our load, you gotta be sued. He he was like, um, y'all gonna see real soon. Now I don't know how real soon how soon that's now, gonna be. I'm, I listen, I'm gonna say the niggas sell TVs, man. Now, you ain't got nothing to do with the PlayStation the business. <laughs> no, I ain't, and the dark club, I ain't gonna buy with Dark Club, but all cut all that weed shit out, nigga. You know you go to Best Buy, you got the Samsung representative, you got the Toshiba resident uh, uh, representative, oh, and then they oh, ain't my man back in the Nah, hey, Dark Club, don't scratch your shit. Nah, man, anybody can get it. Nah. I've been tricked in bamboos. Yeah, you think we blowing our load? Look, no. But yeah, I, I think I think they don't have anything to show. I think we don't want to have another conference with well, they ain't pretty much haven't showed that much of dreams. Uh -huh. Um Days Gone just had an 85 minute gameplay, but the the fan base don't seem to be gravitors gravitating towards that game as they would a God of War or Detroit. Um Ghost of Shishima and Last of Us 2 ain't no telling where we're gonna see that. I was even questioning last night, mm -hmm. will those titles get moved to um uh, a PS5? Hold up, pay the bills right uh, quick. Know? My man Stuart Stokes showing up early with the <laughs> he puts even put the D inside the DDT and the damage control. <laughs> oh, we out. got two of them over there. Yeah, we got, that shit he over say, uh, if you're watching the Super Bowl and your favorite team is playing and the opposing team who you hate doesn't show up, is that really a true victory? <laughs> yeah. And then shout out to Chaz with the 499. He said, it's obvious. Sony is planning something big. These bots just signing themselves up for a pre-ordered L with all the crazy talk. No, 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 no. Now, from the fanboy perspective, from my Xbox perspective, they have every right um, to, to kind of jump on this because if it was the other way around, I'm pretty sure Sony would be crapping on Microsoft right now. You got the same Sony fans out there that be posting on Twitter with these who won E3 polls. You got the same Sony fans that even on this panel said the PS5 was going to be announced at this year E3. Um, you got um, the Sony fans that clowned Microsoft last year about floor space at E3, and now they all of a sudden saying it's irrelevant. Come on, now you can't flip. That's like that's the quickest flip flop I've been seen in gaming history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this notion for the soul Sony said they're not going to be at E3, it no longer matters. E3 is 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 on a decline now, and 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 and, and Sony doesn't need E3. E3 needs Sony. Y'all sound just as condescending as Sony was in the PS3 era, bro. Mm -hmm. This what this where they get it from. Mm -hmm. If they fan base is just as condescending, y'all don't allow the company to be like that, man. Come on now. No, uh, like I said, I I I wonder to with my man Ian. I know he's a kid, you know, it's, uh, you know, yes, the, the, my man Ian in the background. Um I was going to E3, like you know, to see him and I met him and his beautiful mm -hmm. wife. Uh they came out to Jersey. Um, oh, nice, my, my, my nice. Okay. Uh, but I was going to E3, and again, I'm not going to lie, just from a fan's perspective, 
Uh, this will be my first trip to E3. I'm not going because, you know, I want to see it. I don't care about <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, you That's know, crazy. I don't want to go just to see the Microsoft. So just you know, yeah. I want to get the full experience. I want to see Sony's yeah. show. I want, you know, of course, see, you know, Microsoft show. And then go yeah. check out what's on the floor. So I might have to push this trip back again. You know I'm scared to fly, but, and I ain't making mm-hmm. no excuses. But damn, you know what I mean? It's a little... I, you know, I mean, I thought they, I think the year we started, the Brob and Bully started planning to go to E3, mm. then Sony done. Yeah, <laughs> done you know, man. This, I was about to you know, you know, buy They got the media pass. I think it was like 1100 I was getting dropped that down for everybody. So, you know what I mean? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah, that shit, yeah, that shit kind of spooky, man. Yeah, but they got you. something. You just don't. I do believe they have to have something planned. You just don't. Um, you just don't decide not to go to e3 and not have something in preparation and i think it, ha- it got to do something with next gen i think they they their focus is on the ps5 now this generation is over for them uh hold on one second uh hold on one second somebody drops out in the chat out where the hell it went i heard it go off mm. check it out for me folks you. okay yeah witness the truth yeah with with the one dollar uh-huh that's that's it <laughs> He says, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I bet. Uh, I guess he ain't got no question. And shout out with the, for the cigarillo, my nigga. Yeah, cigarillo. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm getting I'm donating that one down to my man D. My man, we get him an e cig. Z. That's an e cig. What do you yeah. mean? Sony not showing up does take a lot out of E3, uh, especially for uh, um, people. Every year is someone's first time going to E3. Uh, you're not just getting the same people that go there. Mm. Um, so let me shout out to Chad Man23 with the $2 holler. Post, who was who was paying your way, <laughs> fuck nigga? <laughs> 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 you disrespectful, Chad. <laughs> and shout out to Top Dog with the $5 holler. E3 is for nerds who don't wash their butt three days before they get there. Damn. Oh, <laughs> and shout out to Stuart Stokes again with the $2 holler. You say, Ags Barry, how many Game of the Year contenders are on the Switch? <laughs> mm. And then shout out to Fab6 with the $5 holler. He say, Sony not being at E3 is like going to the Lakers game and LeBron not playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? That's real talk. Hey, listen, mm-hmm. all jammers control side. I ain't going to lie, man. I thought my Xbox dudes was out there with that damage control. God damn, you know what I mean? You know, like, I ain't gonna lie. I just seen, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I think, you know, listen, hey, listen, all I'm gonna say is Sony guys, not like this, man. We gonna, nah, nah, we gonna nah, yo, man. they the, yo, I crown them, though. I crown them, the kings of uh, damage control, because they, they, they damage control, they was on that shit quick, boy. Oh, yeah. They, they was yeah, on that damage quick. control quick. Mm. Uh, shout out to SS Nan with the $5 holler. When a company hits rock bottom and spring back up, there is always a plan. Ian, what, what's your perspective on it? I'm not surprised. I'm the, not surprised because the, 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 uh-huh. that that E3 is now becoming irrelevant. That's the bigger story. Mm-hmm. Because EA pulled out, Microsoft's not on the, the floor anymore. They don't have a presence. Yeah. Now Sony... Sony what we have to look at is this a corporation and they see money and they see a way to make money now. Yeah. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to put on their own event. Either it's PSX or something else. And they're going to charge people to come see it. And that's what they see. At the end of the day, we're just dollar symbol. Shout out to Patrick for subscribing. Oh, hold on one second. I have to cut you off. Hey, uh, Ann Castle just put something in the chat. It flew by me. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Ann Castle with the, with, with the $20 KFC Appreciate bucket. It. Chicken for everybody, fuck nigga. Man, shout out to my brother Z. Sony got something cooking in the pipeline. This is chess. This is chess, not checkers. Let my ass allow. Sony got the, uh, got the mind share now. Z, you brought up something um, that from, you brought it up from a perspective that hasn't been approached yet, and it's that how is E3 gonna feel without Sony being there? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now here's, here's my thing, We're all real talk, right? And I, I you know, listen, and I, I gotta be honest, like I said, I was, and I was just telling him, Ian, that I was planning, I don't like to fly, I don't like to, you know, I don't like to fly, I don't like yeah. to fly. I got yeah, PTSD really, really bad, and I ain't gonna lie, first, nigga been shot a few times, besides that, though, literally, not even too long ago, don't, I go through some real shit over here, right? Uh, 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 um, and besides that, I, um, that movie was it? I'm scared of heights anyway. Final Destination, that the first one, when they, you know, when, when it was on the plane, every yeah. and mind you, I think because I used to box, I'd have been all around this world, 
you know what I mean? You know, from boxing, different states, different countries. So it, I, I'm, I'm always been scared of heights. You know, I don't like the turbulence. But after that movie, I ain't gonna lie, man. Woo, it's like nails on chalkboard to me, man. You know, uh, you know, no man knows the time, no place. But shit, I don't want to go out like that, man. Jesus, man. You know, and then plus, I believe in UFOs <laughs> and all that shit too. So that's another story. But anyway. <laughs> I was gonna go to Egypt this sauces, year, but scared to fly. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, I got the broadband bullies. I don't. You can sign up for the media package, so you know everybody can have you know, in, you know into the event. So you got you know all that yeah. stuff. I think it was like eleven hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. Put that down for the team, so everybody can go. We finally meet up, you know, meet each other in person. And like I said, yeah. my man Ian from out that way, hang out with him. Like I said I met him and his beautiful wife. And and, mm. and again, uh, it's a little. Even if I do go, like I said, I wanted to go there and experience everything. It's like yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. It's like the first time a Joker from the hood going to Disney World. You know, what I mean, we see the shit on TV and, yeah. and get there like God. I'm in a Disney World as a kid like that, and that's you know for me, like I said, just being a gamer for so many years and finally being able to go to E3. And like I said, we don't have any of those big events like that. Even though we have Comic Con and stuff like that, uh, you can or PAX East and stuff, but nothing's bigger than E3. You know, what I mean, whether you say the shows in decline or whatever. That's just the the Super Bowl, That's a, yeah, the Mecca, yeah, and Mecca. and again, uh, so what's my man named Ryan McCaffrey, uh, from E from IG? Yeah, McCaffrey, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. put up what, what his tweet if I can find it uh, somewhere. And he was saying, is this Sony getting cocky again? Is this the you need two jobs to buy to pay off the PlayStation Three? You know, is yeah. this Sony? What's your thoughts? Ian? Is this Sony getting cocky again? And you know, no, this is them making money. Okay. I, I don't, I don't see where people are missing yeah. this. This is, I mean, come on, guys. At the end of the day, we're numbers and dollar symbols. No matter if you, you support Xbox, PC, oh, sure. yeah. or, or PlayStation. Uh, and this is why they're doing it. This is about money. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, yeah. they're going to do it. And if it works, they're going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's, that's just how I see it. And E3 mm -hmm. is now less people are going. This past year was a lot slower. Wasn't yeah. many people on the floor. Uh, less media was there, so it's just the way the day. I mean, what we're in, you know, with streaming and everything, you could stream it from your, you know, wherever you want, from your campus, or they could be in New York, Paris, London, wherever they want, they can do it. But would you would you apply? Um, would you say that the the less media present and the less people being there is due to it being on a decline or is it generation fatigue in terms of people is ready to get this um, generation over with and ready to get to the next hardware and the next um, generation? I um, think, yeah. I think it's just the day, the age we're in. I mean, yeah. E3, they're letting more fans in. They're letting about 15,000 fans in per year. You can buy your own ticket now. Yeah. Before, yeah. You, you couldn't, you had to be media or somehow get in, yeah. find a way. Now you can go to E3. It's not what it used to be. Yeah, and then the media don't want to be there with all of them. Because exactly. they used to be exclusive yeah. to them when they had time to play games. Now, you got to fight with 15,000 fans to get yeah. access to it. Is it worth it? Yeah, so I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I just, but with the day and age we are, you yeah. know, you could stream it anywhere you want. And it, the people will come. Oh, shit, my brother Pete rocking it. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah of I, course. I, I think it's that that uh, when the age of instant gratification, and, and in terms of, like I said earlier, uh, it's about saving money and investing yeah. properly, being smart exactly. about how you invest, and to have uh, to invest in what to invest that amount of money in the an E3 and then come back and do a PSX. Hey, all the resources hey. can go into a, hey, a yo, nice PSX I event. Ain't gonna lie right now. Your brother, can, your brother you know? sound like accountants right now. I don't care about Sony money. Hey, Pete Rock. <laughs> hey, Pete Rock. Hey, come shoot me some bell, man. What's going on, Pete Rock? Hold on, bro. brother, I, my brother, man. Did I sign the contract the wrong it time? Is, it is a painful day, bro. Hey, my heart is broken, bro. What's up, Pete Rock? Uh, my my talk, heart, you know, talk, you know talk right, right now. Yo, I feel like Mario. I can hear your heart <laughs> crying out for me. Yo, and he keeps on saying, come in, come in, come in, save. Yo, my bro, oh, he rock with the falsetto. Yo, <laughs> this shit is painful, dog. I don't care, yo. 
Yo, right now, yo, we, now listen, bro. I know we all, you know, this is this is like one of those moments when like you got bad news, someone died. You're like, nah, nah, that ain't my, that ain't my son. They that ain't my son. No, but then when you when you go to the morgue <laughs> and they lift the blanket <laughs> and be like, damn, that, that's be like that's my son, man. Look what they did to my boy. <laughs> yo, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo. This shit yeah. is painful, bro. But, yeah, but, but 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 here you go. Let me let me give you my view, bro. Okay. I, all right. Let me give my perspective. Let me give the honest. Oh. All right. Honest Wait, hold on. Right. Before you put it, let me pay the bills right quick. Before you. Yeah, shout out to Stuart Stoke, 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 Stoke with the five dollar holler. He said, "I'll still watch Xbox E3 to see all their multi plats. I'll play all <laughs> my. P- I'll play on my PS4. Also, PS has at least nine AAA left this gen." XO18 just happened and they only have four. I also heard uh Sony got about 10 AAA next gen games in development too. So oh shit. All right. so, Go so, ahead, so, Rock, talk about it. The the the, the common the common <laughs> the common damage control, you know, whatever, whatever we do to cope, whatever we're saying to cope, because we coping now. That's what we're doing. I right? <laughs> I'm a, my, my, my brothers are coping right now. Controllers. Yeah, we coping. It ain't damage control. We just simply coping right now, right? <laughs> well, but, the, but <laughs> the main thing is talking about, and you know, I mean, realistically, you could talk about the money. You could talk about, you know, they're yeah. gonna have their own event. Maybe having their own event is a better limelight than sharing the stage. You know, all yeah. that stuff. But let me, let me, let me, let me introduce a different side to the story, based on things we already seen. Right? Mm-hmm. We seen how PSX 2017 last year got pretty much a negative. Outlook on PlayStation, right? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't we 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 saw a couple of weeks how BlizzCon gave a bad image to Blizzard, right? Yeah. And and we already seen why XO eighteen did, right? So we seen a couple of times that if you don't have a quality presentation, right, mm-hmm. for your core fan base in these shows, because these shows are not for the casuals, they're not there watching it. Mm-hmm. The people that's gonna play this Blizzard, you know, fucking Diablo phone game, they weren't watching that show. You know, is there a chance that, and this is just my opinion, that Sony does not have any new games for PlayStation 4? Any new games that they do have is for the PlayStation 5, okay. right? But you can't put the cart before the horse. You can't go, hey, we're going to have an E3, we're going to show you PlayStation okay. 5 games if they're not ready to unveil the actual console. How about this? The console has to, the console has to come I'm first. What the how, fuck how, is that? That's my man Ian. How about oh. this? How about, how about this people? You, you see what I'm saying? But hold up, hold up, let me finish. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I know some people are assuming they're gonna have their own event to unveil the PlayStation 5. Some rumors that we're gonna talk about. Mm-hmm. But but what if Sony's not ready to unveil the PlayStation 5 this year? Mm-hmm. Then what do you do at E3? If one, you don't have no new games other than PlayStation 5 games, and two, you're not gonna unveil the PlayStation 5. What do you do at this show? Show days gone. I mean, show fucking um Death Stranding again. Like, what do you do? Do you show just multi plats? Mm-hmm. Like, what kind of show do you present to the world when you're not going to be able to present new IPs because they're for the PS5, but at the same time, you're not ready to show what the PS5 is? Mm-hmm. What kind of show do you have? You know, and I think if that's the scenario Sony's in, they just say, hey, we'll rather deal with the negative feedback of not having a show. And then we'll just do little things, a little, you know, YouTube thing here, Twitter here, showing, hey, next month we're going to unveil The Last of Us. Next month we're going to unveil Death Stranding. You know, kind of like what they did with God of War. You know, that Game Informer shit mm-hmm. and everything led up to God of War. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as they were done with God of War, they started talking about Detroit. And mm-hmm. then after we're done with Detroit, they started talking about, you know, mm-hmm. we'll, just, we'll just live off of that. Because if we have a show and we don't show people new games, we're going to end up looking like BlizzCon. We're gonna end up looking like Xbox, mm-hmm. and we're gonna end up looking like PSX 2017, where we're wasting people's time, and in the end, all you get is negative feedback. How about this, then, right? I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, I understand that approach, but there's still a lot we don't know about The Last of Us 2, the multiplayer. We haven't seen any aspects of that yet. Uh, we still know what the bro, fuck Death Stand is about. But, bro, I'm gonna tell you, if they show those games again at this year's E3, they're gonna get killed. But, they but, got killed last year. People but, were saying, you know, know. But, hey, they bro. can't do, they cannot do two hey, in depth hey, bro, shit on the I, same I, I, here, here the exact here. game. Here you go, here like here. at this point, we're practically playing the shit. Right, how about this, then, right? I'm, uh, <laughs> Let listen. me do another in depth. Uh, listen, Sony is the master of smoking mirrors. 
They can come out that motherfucker show with tech metal here. Be, be, here, the future is here. Greatness awakes again. Close that and show some concept art back there. I don't, I don't think fuck. they got it. I don't I, think it's gonna work. Hey, bro, listen, I don't think it's gonna work. I think I, this, you know they can just cheese. You know, you know, know they just some, cheese. Some, Sometimes not all bad publicity is good publicity. Hey, bro, but listen, you know listen not all the know, time. Look at BlizzCon. Yeah, which means they'll get hammered even more. But hey, listen, you don't think if you ain't got bro E three, look how look how bad we ragged on. XO18 that was a showing dog one shit new show. game. Yeah, but because they didn't show any new IPs. No, that's sh- that was a two hour goddamn the, game pass. I know, but uh, let's put it this way. Let's say they ended the show the last 10 minutes with on uh, Fable. Oh, well, they could have shown We wouldn't give a fuck about the first hey, 150 hey, hey, minutes. Hey, hey, yo, we would just be talking about the last 10. But they could have showed some shipping gears and playing uh, something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. But so imagine Sony showing up at E3 and the only thing we've seen is Multiplats, The Last of Us, Death Stranding, and Ghost of Tsushima. I, I don't Neo again don't it because they don't have games not to show. No, that's I think they have games. I just think it's PlayStation Five games. What and you can't that? put the like, cart before the horse. Also, no, also but if you're not ready to show the console, you can. Man. You can't go oh shit, look at our PlayStation Five games, and then people are gonna be like. So where's the PlayStation hey, Five? Bro. Hey, bro. Oh, hey, bro. bro. Listen, right now, <laughs> I, hey, Porter Rock, I, I, I had signed with the Golden State Warriors. You, you know what I mean? You guys, uh, the war, <laughs> you had them won two championships back to back. Look for the third. Now we got inner turmoil. I ain't got no E3. A Draymond, no, Draymond Green, Green, Green game yeah. stepped in. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I think Sony, if, if Sony don't unveil the PlayStation Five, that's the main reason. And I yeah. think that what they're going to do is they're just going to push out those big IPs every two months and talk about that and let the hype behind that. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, a hey, post, post. Yeah. post. We'll see him back again. Yeah. I think I'll do. Yeah, we hold on. You know, so it's one of two things: either they're gonna have their own event for the PlayStation Five and do everything yeah. there, or they're right, not yeah. gonna do anything other than release these hold IPs. I'm, I'm, I'm about to send you this link. Po- uh, uh, Polar Rock. Virtual 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 Virtual. Virtual. All right, hold on, I'm saying. It's um, somebody... Facebook. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you on Facebook. I'm gonna... I, my motherfucker. I ordered a mouse last night from Amazon. I broke my goddamn mouse last night. My shit didn't get hit yet, so I can't even scroll up, but I'm just using it. I'm going to send you the links. I can't scroll down. My wheel don't work. Um, mm-hmm. Bring that up on your screen, uh, and I, I, we can go from you. On uh, my so, screen? Yeah, you can share my can, screen? Oh, I can share it on my screen, but you can just read it off. And pull it one okay. Shout out to my oh, man, Sean Rashid. PS5 games are in production. P-Rock is accurate. I understand that. P- I understand that games are... Listen, Xbox, next generation Xbox games in production... Uh, I won't be surprised if some next generation Nintendo Switch games in production. That's just the nature of the business. We're talking about goddamn. This is again. This is a, it's like somebody just punched me in my motherfucking stomach because I just ate lunch. No E three. They ain't on the stage. Like come on, man. Yeah, but E three is not like I've been saying. It's not what it used to be, guys. And that's why the, these companies are going to do their own thing. EA started it, and now more and more companies are pulling out. It's Man. not because they don't have games. It's not because they don't have a system. It's because they can do their own thing. It's hey, the day and age we A-D-A. live in. A-D-A. I'll just say A-D-A. this. I mean, E3, A-D-A. E3 is big, but E3 got a lot smaller. A lot smaller. They got a lot smaller now. Especially if Microsoft don't come big. If they come out with Sea of Thieves DLC... Oh, they gonna drop. Oh, I, I, well, I, I, the mic also gonna blow. They gonna fuck on the blow player. But hold up, hey, yeah, you my brother for another month. Right now, you want to sound like you want to sound like hey, yo, my man. The, hey, they hey, come yo. out with the I'm a stop DLC. Hey, oh, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, it sound like my man. Yeah, I just selling kidneys on the black market. Hold on, and you looking kind of shady right now. Hold up, uh, I get it. This thing, and you're you 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 you're a California raised. You're from there. You've been to E three several times. Yeah. And you're talking yeah, to a yeah. motherfucker here who ain't never had a home cooked meal. I ain't never been to the promised land. No, I, I, look, I'm a fan of E3. I think it's sad because that is our Christmas. Every year we look forward to the week of E3. And yeah. it sucks. It yeah. sucks. And I don't think it's, you know, fair, but there's nothing we can do. Oh, These ain't nothing we can do. Are, I'm just saying, know, that is a, so whatever, the, whether it's money, whether they yeah. have anything to show, Whatever they're reading, my thing is here's what I'm saying, Porter Rock. Before we get into the room, you can bring you. I sent you the link, right? Yeah. Okay. When I'll let you get to get get the justice skimmer, but I'm gonna bring it up on my screen. What I'm saying is this: all that may maybe there's a money issue. I can get again. It's like I don't care about Microsoft money. I don't care about Sony's money, right? But okay, whether it's, they didn't have too much web to show or whatever, my thing is I hope because look at this, right? Look, 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 look at the trend. 
They 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 didn't do a Paris Week game show. They didn't do, they skipped Gamescom. They do Paris Week. Cancel PSX. Right. That's three shows back to back. Bang. Yeah. And then shot one down for next year. Is this saying hey the Sony saying hey we got this shit in the headlock already? No, I but no. no. In, fact, in, my, in my opinion, so no. so so all all or nothing's thinking is the money side. I'm thinking Sony's like we're not gonna end up looking like Blizzard or Xbox if we don't got nothing to show. Four shows. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna do nothing. Okay, now listen, check it out. Right, Here's a, the reason why it's four shows. Here's a, this is again. This is just how I see. It, right. The reason why it's four shows because this is what I think. This is what I think. I think sparse. Sony doesn't want to go through that again. I think that was a big hit on PlayStation that they even admitted it. Mm-hmm. So when that whole, you know, sparse thing came out, that shit trended for a while. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Sony wants to go through that again. So I think at a certain point, all the shit that we know now, I think the Ghost of, you know, Ghost of Tsushima was the last shit, was the last game they made for PlayStation 4. I think after that, everything made is for PlayStation 5, right? Mm-hmm. And you're not yeah. going to announce PlayStation 5 games outside of not announcing the actual console. They're going to go side by side on the same event, right? Mm-hmm. If the only thing you have cooking, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like trying to serve Thanksgiving dinner a week before. You ain't serving Thanksgiving dinner a week before. Thanksgiving dinner is going to be served on Thanksgiving. All this shit you see in the fridge, get the fuck out. Go get yourself a pizza. You're not going to eat any of this. You understand what I'm saying? Sony has new games, but it's for the five. So when those new games get announced, it's going to be with the five. Sony's not, you know, and whenever they're ready to announce the five, that's when we're going to see their new projects. They don't yeah. have no more new projects for the four. They don't have it. There's no more new projects. While we got it, we got The Last of Us, Days Gone, Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, and then whatever third party does, like Sega's, you know, Judgment Eyes, yeah. and all that little shit. You know, Lost, Lost Solo Side. That's it. All right, hold on you know, a second. Hold, hold anything on. after PlayStation 4 is probably going to come from third party, you know, because they always support with little shit, Madden, NBA 2K for like two, three years after. But that's it. There's no new games for PlayStation 4. There's right, no on. new games. Hold on one second. Hey, my man, a show so I was cutting up in the chat. Nigga said, show Zaya got this hoodie from the Dream Daddy catalog. It's, man, my daughter got me this. I got Peach. I got Solomon. I got Hot Pink. Oh, it ain't the same shirt. Well, nah, no, these different shirts. We got one that's Salt mm-hmm. Pink, Hot Pink. Yeah, man. My man, yeah, but anyway, he said, next, uh, it's Sherman Sheen said, uh, next gen, how do you feel about the new PlayStation 5 rumor specs? Uh, we can talk about it. Actually, actually going into now, uh, the rumors, what we got. You got them on your screen? Uh, put them out. Okay. No, yeah, you're so you're we... going to have to read for me because my will is, my, my will, my mouse is broke. I can't scroll down properly. All right. All right so, so read it from the first post. I, I right, guess it's the leakers. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I got it. So it says, the leaker who leaked Sony's absence from E3 yesterday says, we're going to get a PS5 reveal mid 2019. Which kind of contradicts Sony's statement from today with a big blowout at PSX 2019. Uh, PSX experience returning. Most devs already have dev kits for PS5. Spoiler, it's a monster. Hold on, let me click this link. Let me see what this, link, this other link brings me to. This is the actual post. Hold on one second. Let me see. Hold on one second. Okay, all right. Hold on. I'm, uh, hold up. This may be a uh, little. Hold on. Right. You sending me another link? Yeah. Hold on. I, I, I'm not really how this red edit shit work. Hold on. I guess you can keep going at what you got, though. Keep going. I'm going to use this link. All right. So it says PS experience returning. Most devs already have dev kits for PS5. Spoiler, it's a monster. Sony preparing hard for PS5. And one of the reasons for no E3 next year, because they blew all their load this year and got nothing new to show next year. They want to show new stuff at PSX. Uh, I mean, all of this little conversations and shit. Let me okay, look at uh, the okay. I guess go to the other one, then. Click the other link. Okay, let me click on the other one. This motherfucker. It says, it says PS, uh, experience returning. Most devs already have dev kits. Spoiler, it's a monster. For PS5. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I got that. Yeah, I read that part. And this says, so should I expect actual PS5 stuff at PSX 2019? Gonna be a PS5 reveal event. Small reveal mid-2019. Big one at PSX. Plans might change, though. Uh, hold on one second. This guy, Ruth, and, I mean, this guy... Uh, Ruth, and, Ruth Cookie, whatever. Ruth okay. and Cookie. Uh, okay, who's the Ruth leader? and I, Ruth and I, uh, Ruth, Ruth Nick. Okay, this yeah, guy... He, he, okay, get posted. Yeah, he the one leaked. He leaked yesterday that um, yesterday. Sony wasn't going to be at... Um, E3. At E3. <laughs> Didn't nobody believe him. <laughs> he said it was going to be a big announcement tomorrow, and he said Sean, Sony is going to be absent from um, E3. He said he knows somebody's in 
know somebody in the industry, and that's where he was getting his info from. Come yesterday, a big announcement, <laughs> and, Sony, and, and Sony said it was going to be absent from, absent from E3. So he got some credibility behind it. Oh, okay. Now, what he, basically what he's saying, it was just is that Sony is skipping E3 2019 because of what? What are we saying here? So, according to him, because they're doing their own thing. Yep. Short, short plain and simple. That's, that's what he's claiming um, with his inside sources, that Sony's going to do their own event, unveil the PS PlayStation 5, and the games and stuff. And that's um, kind of what your boy Dark Cloud was yeah, alluding to, yeah. too. Now, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm not saying, what I'm saying is, same thing, I'm just saying, I don't know when the event's going to happen. But yeah. until that happens, Sony don't got anything to say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're not at E3. That's why one of the reasons why I think they're not at E3. They don't got shit to talk about at E3 unless nope. it's the PlayStation 5. You know? So if they drop that E3, that right there, we know one thing. They are not, they had no intentions of unveiling the PlayStation 5 at E3 for whatever reason. For whatever reason. At that point, whether it's because the unveiling won't happen until 2020 or because they have their own event in 2019, okay. those are the two options. I okay. think it's going to be a pro like event, the way they did the PS4 Pro. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's how the, they're going to do with That's the what they did in, yeah, like they did in New York City in September. Yeah, I think they're going to do the same thing with the PS5. I don't think they're going to do it. But did you, did you, you remember? Did you see the pro event? Yeah. yeah watch it that shit was boring. Oh, right yeah, now. it was. Right I, that shit was like, have, that shit was that, that shit looked like they did that shit in my room. Hey, yo, them, 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 them <laughs> joints with came the same from camera my Yo, them joints <laughs> came from up out of the thing, and it was quiet as. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it felt like a boardroom. It felt like the room was full of executives. Yeah, they're gonna have to have some fanfare. Yeah. Then they need, what they need to do, I admit, if they could repeat what they did with the unveiling of the PlayStation Four. Y'all remember that one? Mm -hmm. It was a bigger yeah, stage. Yeah. The yeah, only yeah, thing they messed up on, they didn't. They didn't have a console. They just that was the, the only game. thing they fucked up. Yeah, they, they showed, showed, showed the. the te they talked about the technology. They talked about the hardware. They just didn't show the console. But they show the games and the technology, GD, you know, all that bullshit. Okay. You know, if they do that, all right, I could see that. And then yeah. there's no other, and then there'll be no other conversations. You know, you won't, you won't have people talking about, oh, the Bethesda conference was better, or you know, mm -hmm. Ubisoft's conference. Yeah. It's just be that whole week of themselves. Now, if they did I'm, that, I could get it. Yeah, you know, now, what I'm saying I'm I could understand the it. Sony fans. I'm not clowning Sony because uh -huh. I think that's an automatic L if you think that. That they that them not being at E three that they don't have nothing or probably prepping for some um some way bigger. So I'm just clowning the fans. I ain't clowning Sony. That's that's a L because I know I know what they got all their teams working on next gen products when mm. and whatever they ready to reveal what they have to reveal they gonna they gonna do it. I'm yeah. clowning the fans for flip flopping. I ain't taking the L on Sony because they always no. deliver with. <laughs> that's why. That's why I ain't. Come, I'm not gonna come in and pretend that E3 is not a big deal. That shit, yeah. like, oh shit. The first thing yeah, I yeah. thought, God damn. So the only thing I got is Microsoft, because you know yeah. Nintendo be on some and fuck Nintendo. shit. Yeah. Like that's half that shit is show up Microsoft, though. You know, half that shit is super special with this ball. Yo, that's crazy. Bro. Well, it's their show to win or lose. It's their bro. show. Why? There's like, there's nothing. There's nothing there. And, no. and I don't want to hear, well, at least they showed up at E3. Nah, we're not nah. doing that. <laughs> nah, I'm not accepting. And I'm an Xbox fan. I'm not accepting. Yeah. If they don't show up with some fire <laughs> shit, oh, it's, <sighs> it don't, it's It'll be embarrassing. It's, it's going to be embarrassing, bro. Mm -hmm. For Sony not to be there, you pretty much got the whole E3 stage, even though Sony's still going to be in the talks. Uh, a lot of people don't understand by them announcing it now. When E three come up, everybody gonna be talking about why Sony wasn't there or isn't there. So they still gonna be in the conversation. People got to think. You know what I'm saying? They still gonna be in the conversation. But for Microsoft to have that platform, you know, Nintendo will be doing the Nintendo Direct. They gonna be somewhere off in the treehouse with Michael Jackson. Or something. <laughs> but for them yeah, to have that platform to themselves, they better show up and show out. Yeah. And uh, a, thank you for the subscribe. Put up an XO. It's it's not good. Yeah. Okay. You know, if Microsoft shows, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I I think he hit on the head though too. Also, for Rock, maybe they've learned from the past and they see what Xbox has done. Because look, I mean, some of these shows Xbox is putting on, I don't even recognize it. Yeah. It, it reminds me of kids, yeah. kid, you know, kiddie stuff, and it's 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 embarrassing now. I'm a huge Xbox fan. I'm a supporter, but that EXO show was just 
the best thing about it was what they're doing for the charities. That was no. it. There's yeah. nothing good and, about that show. Yeah, that's and they're not. And they're not the only ones. Like other people. Hell, even EA and during E3, they got flack yeah. because everything they show were multiplats that you got to see on the Microsoft Sony event. So yeah. everybody's like, why even bother having your own event then if the games is already on being shown? Fucking, I think what was that? That one E3 where they showed Anthem twice? Yeah, like, yeah. we saw this already. <laughs> like, what yeah. the hell is this? Like, Microsoft showed it and they showed it, you know? BlizzCon. But that terrible event, fucking announcing a phone game. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, they, but people don't understand. They're like, oh, you're expecting too much. I'm like, bro, it's a Saturday, right? It's a sa- Here in Germany, it's a Saturday night, 10 o'clock. I got better shit to do. I could have went out clubbing. I could have went to the titty bar. I could have grabbed a bottle of lotion and go to the bathroom. I could have done anything else in the world. But I watched this dog shit show on Zaire's dog shit channel <laughs> for two goddamn hours, <laughs> and then he had the nerve to be like, "Yo, Puerto Rico, we doing after show your channel? Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out of the shout bed! Just one in the morning, J- bro. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Jay Hart. Tony Blue Day Low, MS got erectile dysfunction because they never got started. Damn. Yeah. Oh, man. Shit. Damn. Okay. Okay. How about that? No, again? I, and I don't. I want to keep. I want to ask you guys. Two other questions before we get the hell out. Oh, oh, get somebody who none of your business too. Uh, yeah, what's up, fuck niggas? Great show, keep it coming. <laughs> hey, Paul, keep this spin class going. Okay, no, fuck, keep this spin class going. Okay, hey, I ain't doing no spin though. Hey, yo, bro, I ain't, hey, hey, yo, hey, hey, bro, I ain't lying. lying. This right some real live Nintendo shit right here, bro. I ain't <laughs> <even> <laughs> no. Yo, dog, I'm gripping the New Testament right now. <laughs> I, I'm looking at myself and be like, well, I went wrong, Lord. Hey, hey yo. He said, he, know? Got the, he said he got the King James Version cuff right now, oh, man. Okay, like, yo, oh. where, 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 where was I steered wrong hey, in this said, situation? He said, if you got the faith the size of the mustard seed, you can move mountains, right? <laughs> Check this shit out, right? Um, now, here, now, here's my question. Again. I'm like, why have you forsaken me? He said, he said Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. Abba, now listen here, right? Let me ask you a question. Uh, now, again, like, you know what I mean? For whatever reason, we've seen it happen to Sega, you know, where I'm saying, as far as I'm getting cocky, you know, they boom, they got the Sega Master System, got this teeth kicked in by the NES. Then we saw what the Genesis, with the strides, it was made, made, made with the Genesis. And believe it, whether people like to admit it or not, the Genesis was a better console. We had, to me, a better variety of games than Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo was more powerful, but it came out a little later. But Genesis, what everybody had in the hood, right? More or less. You had that, you know what I mean? Then Sega got cocky. Then we all know how Nintendo got cocky and. St- did their own thing, and they didn't want to go with this. They want to stay with cartridges. Then we seen Sony come out and get cocky. Not only did they release a six hundred dollar goddamn console, release a six hundred dollar console, the controls didn't rumble. This that's old technology, yeah. you know. Actually, you know what I mean. And again, Microsoft got cocky. This we got a console for you, and this, that, and the other, right? Is this again? Is this Sony? My asking this question: Is this them out there peacocking? No, I don't that, think so. The reason why I say this again, again right, I think go. this is them strategizing, bro. Yeah, they have something man. cooked up. I they have something so. cooked up. You they have something cooked up. Okay. It's just for whatever reason. For sure, E3's no. Not the, for, no, but he's the, well. We gotta think. Of Gamescom. Let's be honest. Gamecom has not been a big thing. I admit that. Okay, Paris yeah. Game Show. Gamecom like that now. Paris Game Show. You know. But again, is it? Is Paris, I'm gonna ask you. Is any of those shows the right time to unveil the PlayStation no, Five? No, I didn't That's say that. I didn't say anything about that. But still, a lot we don't know about those games but, they had though. Yeah, so bro, sure. stop it. We're not. Yo, if Sony. Sh- Oh, these games one more time, people are gonna flip the fuck out. We already had it in depth coverage. Okay, I, I, we already I, had in depth well, coverage okay, on these games. I, I, the I, only I, thing they could show is indies well, and multiplayer, well, and we already know how you feel about that. But listen, let's take it back to 2013, hey, Zaire. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we already know how you feel about shows with indies and multiplayer. Hey, yo, listen, but, but then when the cancel. That's show, all they got. The, the cancel show a year out. Huh? God damn. Uh, I'm saying they're not uh, for whatever reason. Sony does not want to show the PlayStation Five at E3. I don't know why. It's the biggest stay, stage on the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, I man. don't know why. That I don't. I can't answer that. I know. Okay, now now you go. Now, now you cook. I know. It, I know. And that's the sound logic. He okay. says, "Fuck it. Why make E3 money when we could make our own money?" But listen, I get yeah. that. Uh, listen, you know, especially like if you sell tickets for seventy five dollars. Listen, oh yeah, I get that. I'm not saying that I care for Sony's money. I'm just saying that's a good logical reason. Okay, Sony could be like, saying, "Why right? make E3 association money 
when we could but, just hog it for ourselves. That's the key word, right? No matter what okay. Sony does, right? This is real talk. Yeah. This is real shit here. No matter what they do, whether they have a, a private goddamn show at the forum in Russia, got- there's nothing bigger <laughs> than E3. That's the, that's the stage. That is the stage right there. E3 is the goddamn stage. You know what I mean? Um, so I guess we almost ruled out that we're not going to get a PS5 in 2019. Unless Sony, yeah. I, I, I'm no. thinking, I don't think we're going to get a PS5 in 20. I think 2019 is the last hoorah for PlayStation 4. Mm-hmm. I think they're just going to focus, you know, like what they do with God of War. Mm-hmm. Use Game Informer, you know, social media. They'll provide a date two months before the game is released. And then you're going to see a magazine blitz and everybody's talking about it, videos, all that stuff. Then the game releases. And they're going to do that for each game. They're going to do that. You know, obviously the first one, they's gone. And then the next game, the next game, the next game. So 2019 will be rolled out with the final four. Sprinkle in between, you know, games from Sega, you know, the indie projects, you know, Lost okay. on side. And then 2020, that's when they're going to roll out okay. the PlayStation that's 5. How about this, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Now, all right, with that, okay, with that being said, right? All right, so say, we say 2020. So we're going to have a head-on competition again. Okay. Whatever. Microsoft. I will say this, too. I will say this, too. Another reason I think Sony is also going this route as fucked up as it sound, it's because Microsoft hasn't been providing good competition to make them. They are not pushing them. Not pushing them. Let's be honest. Microsoft, the last two years, haven't really made Sony think about, yo, we're going to fucking push out big titles. And Sony's be like, damn, we got to fucking get ahead of the narrative. They haven't done that. Especially after this XO18 fucking oh, Sean Lane is probably like, ah! Get the fuck out of here. Yo, fuck these guys. So, not, yeah, you know? that so I mean, it's, and that's why competition, I don't think it's cocky, but like you need like you need somebody to fucking, you know, make sure you're on your okay, okay, we, this, this was a you reality, know? this a reality check, right? Uh and I and again, I want to see this right, and I don't care about Microsoft money or Sony's money, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, at the end of the day, we all know what pays the bills for Sony, right? It's the PlayStation thing, right? And some, you know, Microsoft sees, you know, whether they meant or not, you know, the Xbox, that's just uh, allowance money throughout the week. Now, that's nothing, right? Now, with that being fucking said, right? Um, and then, they, you know, again, this is what pays the bills for Sony. got to double down on themselves. Um, my thing is, I don't, regardless of how, you know, I just say, that's how you start the race, how you end the race. I don't, they shouldn't take their foot off the gas. They shouldn't take their foot off Microsoft. Because, again... A lot can change going from one generation to the next generation. Mm-hmm. See what happened to PlayStation 2 and how dominant that was until what happened to the PlayStation 3. You see what happened to yeah. the 360 and how, how dominant it was in North America until what happened at the start of this generation. Any, mm-hmm. well, you see what happened with the Wii and Nintendo. It's how dominant the Wii was when we went from the Wii to the Wii U. We can say, you know, oh, they, you know like who would, listen, who could have predicted that the Wii U would do what it did compared to the Wii? Nobody. You know what I mean? Nintendo was flying, you know, high all cylinders, you know what I mean? So you can't, you know, like some of the history tends to repeat itself. You can't take your foot off the gas or the pedal and get cocky. And see, you know what I mean? And, you know, because the game was... I don't what, think it's different. cockiness. I just think it's opportunity. I yeah. just think it's opportunity. I think, I think Microsoft allowed Sony to do what they want. Um, instead of taking chances at E3, having a bad show, they could be like, you know what? We're going to do things how we want to. The right way or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, it's just until we see how 2019 fleshes out, we just don't know what Sony has planned. You know, maybe they will do their own big budget show specifically hey, yo, here. Sound, for hey, you like I don't know. You sound like the pastor. Don't question the, don't, those, don't question don't God. Don't I'm question not God. saying don't question it. Don't I'm question just saying God. I don't, I feel like I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, I, 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 I just don't know. The only thing I, I'm like I said before is, Sony's big next show is going to be about PlayStation 5. It's not going to be about yeah. PlayStation 4. I've we have no more new projects for PlayStation 4. They the and they're so not going to do a big show talking about The Last of Us again. The they're not going to do that again. I got, a, they got a question for you. Pay the bill for the rock. Okay, hold on. I have to look mm-hmm. at it. I, I think they question your integrity in right now. Okay, mm-hmm. that's just it. Uh, what he says. What? Piece of saying. You're good when in doubt. Blame Xbox. You're too good. I tip my hat. Crack the fuck up. Yeah. Well, basically, you know, I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just saying. There's two, there's two guarantees. There's no more new PlayStation games from Sony. That ain't it. We don't have that. And they're not gonna talk about what they already talked about at E3. They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna have a big show to talk about The Last of Us, Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima again. They're not gonna do that again. They already had in-depth coverage. 
That's it. They're not in-depth coverage. The only thing they got left is the new games for PlayStation 5, and that's not going to be unveiled until they unveil the PlayStation 5. Okay. We don't know when that's going to happen. Well, what we do know is it's not going to happen at E3. We know that. So there'll be no PS5 unveiling at E3 this year okay. or 2019. All right. That's well, all we know. All right. Well, last question, Mullis. Right, so I just say I'm now leaning more to, I guess, we're back to 2020. If you had, because we had, we, we had some official spec rumors or whatever the case may be, um, whatever the case. Um, but if you, I, I'm saying, I'm predicting a five dollar price tag. And I mean, Adam, we're talking about VR baked into the console um, and touchscreen controllers. Now, how do you feel about the touchscreen controllers? If that is true, rumor. You know, I know they the company patent a lot of things, but a lot of these patents don't see the, the light of day. Like, what are your thoughts about them? You know, patenting. A touchscreen controller that's really supposed to be shipped with the PlayStation Five. I, I, mean, I would prefer that over this trackpad because I think the trackpad's kind of corny. Trackpad's yeah, kind of corny. Yeah, it is. I was just saying, I didn't, it's I corny. Know. Sometimes it doesn't responsive. Yeah, I had a problem with no. Detroit Become Human. I never played that. Yeah, you know, as long as as long as doesn't as long as they don't come out with their own big Wii U pad, mm -hmm. some big ass shit. I don't want that. If it's the same size controller, but the, instead of the trackpad, it's an actual screen. Mm -hmm. You know, I could, I'll, I you know, I'll rock with that, you know, mm -hmm. because that would be a little bit simpler. You can see the menu options on the screen instead of, you know, dealing with it on the TV. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know, just a little tiny screen. I don't want a Wii U pad. I don't want that big ass shit. I don't want to see no stupid shit about, oh, you can play your games on the little tiny screen. I don't want, don't do none of that dumb shit. Yeah. Just, just, just replace the trackpad so you have a better, more accurate pad. You know what I'm saying? On the controller. That's it. Your you know? thoughts, your thoughts, Ian. Um, I really, I'm not into that. Um, but it would be, it'd be interesting. I mean, maybe they can put it with some VR games. I don't know. Um, but for me, I'm not interested. I didn't like what Nintendo did with it. It was just a big pad. Yeah. That's why I don't want to. It, was, just, it yeah. was a big janky pad. That's all yeah. it was. Uh -uh. And just to take up space. My, my, here's my thing. Um, I don't want them, you know, um, if they're going to do a, a, a touch screen, maybe make, they can make the, the control a, a tad bit bigger. Uh, but I was looking at it for the touch screen for social media aspects, you know, whether Twitter, you know, you send stuff to Twitch or no, 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 it's like that for, you know, whether they stream. I'll be honest. I hope they don't do that shit. I mean, I think that way to see your chat while you're screaming. On your controller or something, you know, from Twitch or whatever the hell. Man, you're gonna Facebook. be too busy getting your ass whooped to be Chang. I'm just yeah. saying. If they want, I mean, if <laughs> you're back. Like, you, you, no, I know what you are. You want to see that super chat money on your controller? No, <laughs> yeah. What's that shit? Hey, no. Hey, 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 up, woo! <laughs> hey, but no, we're living in that super chat. Hey, hey, no, but it's on some real <laughs> shit, though, right? Check it out, right? I'm just saying, like, you know, just for I, if they were to do a touchscreen, because um, you know, how you got the share feature, you can put shit to Twitter. I would like to see what's going on on Twitter. You know, what I mean, look on my controller and see what's going on on Twitter. While I'm in. I think that would be kind of cool. Now, as far as gaming, I ain't, I'm not interested in anything touchscreen. As far as gaming, uh, you know, uh, that's it is what it is. And to me, there won't nothing be more responsive as a, a, as a fun prompt. See, right now we got a $10 super chat in gold. Mm. So, right now, Zaire's controller hey, will be yo. lighting up gold. Hey, yo, 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 hey, <laughs> they got games in development for P5. Xbox got studios. They just bought and more games for Game Pass. I know who Sony, what? Who's so gonna get my bread? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I know who's gonna get my bread. Oh, well, here's the thing. I'm, me personally, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always gonna own everything. As long as, you know, God gives me strength and that breath in my lungs. Now, my oh, thing snap. is what I'm gonna probably buy my, buy my multi plats on. We buy more multi plats and exclusives. I don't care how you spend it. It is what it is. That's right? gonna be that's gonna be interesting because yeah, that's uh, what I think. Me. I think because you know Microsoft promised they will never be undercutting power ever again, right? Yeah. So there's only two ways Microsoft's gonna accomplish that: either a release the most expensive console, mm -hmm. or b release your console a year after your competition does. You know uh, what I'm saying? Hey. Those are the only two ways. Because let's say if they both release their console in 2020, and they're both $500, and they're both from AMD. There's not going to be a huge difference. Well, well, 
they're not. It's not possible. It's just mathematically not possible. So let's say if Sony decides to release a five hundred dollar console twenty twenty, the Microsoft has a decision: release a six seven hundred dollar console the no. same year, or wait till next no. year. Here, I'm a, are you forgetting one key factor, right? What they're gonna release? Some yeah. fucking man! Don't no. come out with no Joe Montana. No, you release them with that. <laughs> that Sony is still what? doubling down on VR, right? Mm-hmm. And it's rumored that this again that the PlayStation Five posts have VR baked within the console, right? So same thing with Microsoft with the Connect, they ate up the cost, right? So we gotta look at. It I don't believe that rumor. I'm gonna be like, I don't believe that rumor. I don't. Uh, I'm just saying. So if that, if that is true. So I don't that, that, that will get, you know what I mean, will get. Simply by that could, that could, because yeah. now your $500 console yeah. is actually a $400 console with a $100 thing. You, you but I don't think Sony, I don't think Sony's going to do that. Uh, well, uh, only, uh, reason, only reason why, they may, they'll make more money selling the peripheral. Because remember, VR is a peripheral. Yeah. They'll make more money selling it as a peripheral. Oh, no, you will still, no, what it's that. still going to be a peripheral. But yeah. the reason why, again, you know, it was so much, it was $400, you had the process and the power, all was in the headset. Now they're going to alleviate some of that shit here on the console, and you're just going to need the glasses for the VR. Well, to be honest, I think the place is going to be powerful anyway. Like, I know they're saying, like, VR baked in. In reality, what does that mean? Because in reality, look at PC. PC doesn't have VR components baked in. What they have is a powerful GPU and a powerful CPU to run VR properly. You know, the only reason why, you know, VR has its own processor is just to compensate for the power the Slim and the Vanilla don't have. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's compensation for the lack of hardware power. But you don't need specific baked-in chips. You just need a powerful CPU and a powerful GPU, and you can run VR. Like like I said, PC doesn't have a, a specific I, I, video I know, card but, for you know, VR. But, but something is so that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I didn't understand the rule. Because, like, again, PC doesn't have baked-in mm-hmm. VR chips. It's literally a powerful GPU and a powerful CPU. The I, I better the CPU GPU, the better you can run VR. That's all it really is. Hold on one second. My man, shout out my man Free Flow. He said, what do you think Sony would show in DevCon? Or show at DevCon? And when the hell is that? DevCon took place, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, it took the, it was, um, this month. It was yeah. in November. Or yeah, it was November 6th through 8th. But it's, yeah, but it's a, prov- it's a private show, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's, NDA, it's NDAs out of the ass, but they was Yeah, to you're not going to get, yeah. yeah You'll was, get leaks, maybe? Yeah, they were supposed to be yeah. showing off, quote unquote, Sony was showing off, or. Play this, play this. You have the big developers. You got EA, Ubisoft, yeah. Rockstar, those guys. Like that. They already got their hands on next generation hardware from both Microsoft yeah. and Sony. But you got the, the ones that are not so big, you know what I mean? And Sony probably had a presentation. Hey, this is what we aiming for. You got any input. So, but again, you're not going to hear anything about those shows the way after the shows, probably when these consoles are on the Now, market. what's interesting about DevCon, um, after the PlayStation 4 was released, uh, Mark Cerny, he had like a one hour. Um, on YouTube, it's called the Road to PlayStation. So about an hour, he talked about you know the how the whole process began developing the PlayStation Four, right? Mm-hmm. Like forty minutes into you know this little lecture that he gave, right? He talked about that the PlayStation Four was originally supposed to be um, similar to what Xbox Microsoft did with Xbox. It was supposed to have, in their case, ED RAM. So kind of like what Microsoft did with ES RAM, you know, have mm-hmm. a, a, that. Mm-hmm. That was actually the original PlayStation 4. And the only difference is it was supposed to have one terabyte of bandwidth, mm-hmm. right? So they were like, yo, you know, developers are going to like it. One terabyte bandwidth to ED RAM. So when they presented it at DevCon, the developer was like, nah, this is not what we want. We want unified memory, whatever. So Sony had to go back and change. And changed it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's interesting about DevCon. Whatever they shown, this is really this DevCon is really this is what we're planning to do. Do you guys like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Not depending on what they say, they, yeah. yeah, they might have to go back and change some shit because the devs be like, nah, that ain't it. Like, for example, the VR baked in. They might be like, nah, don't do that because we're not gonna make VR games. So don't waste your time doing this bullshit. Yeah, this and Sony would be like was- for Got like it. the extra memory yeah when, when, yeah, when, yeah when, that was another thing when, it was supposed when, to be four gigs begging for eight gigs this is what it was asking for if you, <laughs> and it was like yeah you gotta, you gotta put some more memory in that player you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you know so that's interesting so it'll be interesting what's gonna come out of that kind if they have i think i don't know if they had it already already Maybe that's it. Maybe, 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 maybe DevCon didn't go as well as they hoped, and they're like, "Yo, we got cancel E3, dog, because this shit ain't ready." <laughs> 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 but think about it. 
hey, this is a PlayStation 5. And you be be like, is you smoking crack? Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Hey, cancel E3, dog. <laughs> this shit ain't happening. Back in the drawing board. The we, we, this, this, this ain't it, dog. We, we do. That could be it. You never know. Yeah, bro. yeah. 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 Def, yeah. You know. could yeah. be a disaster. Uh, yeah, Def well, man. They, them um NDAs be ironclad, man. You know, yeah. really, it was so low key and quiet. You didn't even know it was. Yeah. It, it was happen, yeah. You're not. Yeah, you. You're but not what if get no information? But what me. if? What if that happened? Like the PlayStation yeah, that they wanted to make didn't resonate with the third party developers, and now Sony has to semi go back to the drawing hey, board. Man. Not so much drawing board, but they have to do major changes to the point. Well, the console's not going to be ready at E3. Like, yeah, we're not going to have this said, ready at E3. You know what? We can't have this ready at E3. Looking from that perspective, because, you know, they have to be pretty particular about what they want. And I know um, and Microsoft, both Microsoft and Sony uh, favor, they did the same thing. Um, yeah, they don't pull a Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo after, would be after, like, well, too bad. This is I what think, you're getting. <laughs> I think after uh, the 360 and the PS3 era... They will um, never they have, they have go against third party again. On, yeah, they have more input on how these consoles is going to turn out. I'm gonna be honest. I think they got all the input yeah, at this point. I think <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers decide and, what the console's gonna be. You had in that era, you had a power PC and you had yeah, Sony, 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 Sony do what the fuck they want to do. Like Sony's like, yo, we're gonna we're gonna put. A- RAM and GDR and developers like what the fuck? What are you doing? They said this is petty. Nah, nah, they're like nah nah nah, play y'all got to make this much easier. This is too much. Y'all go more in two opposite directions. We got to do this and just to get a game done. Nah, you know this ain't happening again. Hey, what, you about to, what you about to say, Ian? I was just saying. I mean, maybe we're just we missed it. Maybe they they're gonna do their own event to get mm-hmm. a jump on Xbox. Mm-hmm. To get the PS5 out there before they announce it, maybe they make that announcement before E3 and get a jump on that. So you know, E3? Xbox is work. Jesus yeah. Christ, well, remember, remember, remember Microsoft, Microsoft unveiled both companies unveiled their console. Well, before technically E3. not Sony, yeah. but Microsoft unveiled their console before E3, and that shit, well, it didn't turn out the way they thought it was going to turn out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that yeah, shit came out. out TV, to, TV, uh, TV. JD Gamer with a ten dollar holler. He said, P Rock, what next gen is saying is that the current processor unit in the VR headset will be in the console. So the <laughs> headset can sell four hundred dollars. Yeah, two hundred dollars. But I get a I, ton more money. Yeah. I get the logic, but the thing is the reason why the reason why it has its own processor is because the PS4 vanilla and slim are weak. So it compensates. Yeah, but it also does other stuff talking about, uh, with these next gen consoles, you're not gonna need compensation. But no, here's the thing. They also like with the um, the tracking. They talk about some wrist tracking and the tracking. No, that, you're not gonna need the gold, the glowing dildos no more. Yeah, the console's gonna no, do all that because they're gonna use in and out the in and out tracking. Which it, which, yeah, I don't know, but that's what the console's gonna do, especially if you use rise. Chip. Yeah, they supposed to be VR supposed to be baked into the and console. Vega. They're gonna do that. Hey, you know? I gotta respect Dito. D like, nah, I ain't finna speculate no nut dog. No, nah, you better stop. Hey, wait, hey, hold up. <laughs> Listen, D was like, I didn't already call the L with the rising chip. I ain't finna say. Hey, yo, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm putting together the video, man. Shout out to Nev. Hey, Nev. You need to put all this together or whatever. Give it to me. Them clips you put up. Uh, and yo, and and, and, and the chat. My, yo. Hey, yo, my man, my man, Jay Dubs was drunk as hell. If they talking, yo, Mama D yo. D got motherfucking. <laughs> I tell you, this is a drunk free environment, motherfucking. Uh, uh D didn't get uh, my man Jay hit that motherfucking pipe, man. He was talking crazy Ooh. as hell. And he said, in today's economy, you know, mind you, this motherfucking millionaire. Six hundred dollars ain't shit. I wiped my ass for six hundred dollars. Who said that? <laughs> Jay, 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 was, Jay wasn't talking <laughs> that big thing. He was talking that big thing. He was talking that big thing. Jay said that. I believe him. Hey, yeah. Jay says I wiped my ass for six hundred dollars. Hey, Z hey, come out of nowhere like, shut your drunk ass up. Hey, yo, my <laughs> man was drunk as hell. Oh, Jay? Yeah. On the multiplayer podcast? Nah, it was another show. Another dog shit show. Oh, um, man, you know, there's so many dog shit shows. I just was like, yo, he was slow in his words. And yeah, I just live. He's like, yeah, I was just talking to him. Yeah, I just live happy hour at work, man. Fuck dealing with him. That's how I'm about to go live. You hopping this again. Man, he hopping oh, that motherfucker shit. saucy. Man, I wiped my ass for $600. Hey, see, I can find $600 on my couch. And my pistols, literally. And my Lamborghini. And my Ferrari. He was there talking that big, 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 big
I said, oh, oh man. Oh, fucking day. He was hey. drunk as hell, man. I'm not talking about Sam in the tax bracket. Hey, bro. Bro. hey bro. He says, what motherfuckers ain't in my tax bracket? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I cannot compute what you said. Hey, yo, what we was talking about, the rumor specs of the PS5 being 12 T-flops. Ain't talking about for fucking. I said that if they, if, I'm just, if, if, if it is right, uh, that's gonna be a, at least a six hundred goddamn console. You, you know Possibly. what I mean? Yeah. Listen, yeah. you realize if you can buy a console, you say for fuck because I say it's gonna be five hundred bucks. And you talking about twelve T fucking flops? Then what's the point? Is you know A and B still sells graphics cards too. You know what I mean? We talking about everything yeah. together. Twelve T flop. That's that's on, that's more powerful than a GTX 1080. So I'm saying, yeah. bro, that's a that's a fucking high end fucking rig. No, he go he go he go, he go deal with his shit. No, Z, come on. In today's terms, that's a low end tier. Yeah, be oh my god, already? Yeah, no, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. What? Consoles will never catch up. To no, man. Yeah. They're always gonna find a way. Now, now we got the 2080 XITI. Yeah, them kids is three thousand dollars. Terra flops is not. They was just saying 1080 Ti's was the pinnacle of gaming before the 2080. Yeah, you no, know, what is? I don't understand. Yeah. I'm man, not, like I said, it is what it is. Man, I mean, I mean, the main thing is the CPU, man. We can't go with this Jaguar bull. Oh, it's no, got to have Ryzen hey, CPU. Hey, hey, it listen, has listen, to have hey, it. Listen, change the thing. Don't put it out before we get that about here. Me and you, I hope that it will happen. No one, no one, Microsoft or no one, Sony. Hmm. They want they probably give us some Puma. They probably give us Puma. Yeah, Puma. They're gonna give us fucking fucking cat cores. Yeah, probably so. You know, I hope no. not. I hope not. Heathcliff. They're gonna be like fucking fucking gonna Heathcliff. A, you gonna get a rise? Snarf. Snarf. Fucking snarf. I, I told you so. I told you so. A generation later, it was going to be a rising chip. Yeah, I told you. So. Man, like, yeah, ten years later. Three years later. I said, bro, you were talking about that rising. I didn't. I did not say which Xbox Z. Hey, okay. hey yo, hey yo, listen. Are you going to believe you? lying eyes. In all honesty, when the man in Mister is wrong, you must humble yourself, man. You must humble yourself. <laughs> shout out to the D D crack now. D crack. What up, D crack? Impersonation is. Hey yo. hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, I swear to hell, buddy. Hey yo, hey yo, I swear to God. Hey yo, this face this way. Hey, are you believe me? Are you lying, guys? Hey yo, he was hitting that bitch, bro. And nigga turned back around and saw me looking at him. His eyes got wide as hell. Hey yo, like buckwheat. He's that way. It's not what you think. Everything's cool in moderation. Who's gonna believe you? You lying, now. And that said, yo, D got them AMD stock. Maybe it's funny, don't question them. Yeah, maybe he was like, talking about them AMD stocks. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, yo, hey, 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 don't question it. Hey, yo, D chanky as hell, yo. <laughs> Hey, yo, yo DJ is hell, I man. I got stock in AM, AMD. He got stock AMD, and motherfucker try to hand out codes. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> so I got stock in AMD. AMD. Oh. I know it's going to be a rising chip in, in the Xbox. Yeah, yo, yeah. when he said that, I was like, oh, my God. Man, nah, he shit with, I knew oh, D was pretty crazy. Yo, what's funny is, yo, yo, but that, yo, that whole rising shit like, spawned Xbox Beast Fire. Because fucking Zaire wanted a channel to just talk about the tech. And for that whole year, you know, it's rising, this, that, the third. Yo, when that shit don't ha happen, Dila and D were on Twitter. Are you sure it's not Jaguar? Are you sure it's Jaguar? Yo, I was dying, bro. That motherfucker was harassing Digital Foundry. Yeah. You know, technically, it's not Jaguar if it has this. I'm like, oh. yeah. it has. What do you say? What do you say? It has, no, it it has, it has Polaris. Uh, what do you say? It has Polaris tech in it. Or so, so, like, not like this, bro. <laughs> You're like, are you sure it's not Vega with yeah, a little Vega bit of Polaris tech? tech? I'm yeah. like, oh. Not They're not gonna add old shit to the new shit, dog. They add some modifications to the chip. It's not the same. Yo, yeah. motherfucker said, "Are you sure it's not Vega?" And they just kept some Polaris stuff. I'm like, oh. Dude. Hold on. Shout out to JD the gamer. He says consoles has always moved the industry forward. Never PC. The PC is always behind. Laughing my ass. Oh bro. shit! This dude's too. You're gonna believe you and your lying ass. <laughs> <laughs> knew that nigga. Yo, I should have that. Hey, yo, hey, please, Rob. We got, I should have knew that nigga was janky when he cursed me about them cooter calls on air and lost his accent. Some of them cooter calls about the switch 4K switch. 
Oh my God! When he said, and then we're like, "Yo, Z's telling them, think about it, D. Think about it, D. You're telling us selling, so um, Nintendo's gonna sell a 4K handheld for three hundred dollars. <laughs> three hundred dollars, <laughs> yo. Yeah. Uh, but but we gotta understand the CUDA cords are very efficient. We're like, oh. Shout out to Glenn Williams with the dollar nine. Say love the podcast, man. Keep it up, fellas. Text Shout out to Glenn from Jersey, Jersey too. We gotta link up, man. Yeah, yes, man, sir, yes, but sir. yeah, man, that shit was well. We didn't have some class on that yeah, motherfucker. We, get, we got a oh. subtle Z today, as y'all see. He's drinking bottled water. Oh, yeah, I ain't got he's it. He's doing man. it in moderation, yeah, right? Now. Cool. <laughs> in moderation. No, in moderation. If that was a Corona mm. bottle, you know, this show would be a lot longer and it would motherfuckers <laughs> 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 better get thrown out of the box. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, yo, Nev said DJ K P Rock. Forty dollars with one free coast. He must be smoking something. So that's just create unity. Yeah. Yo, this motherfucker. Yo, I, when I told when I told Z that I'm like, I even <laughs> uh, the screenshots. I'm like, yo, 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 Z, look at this. She's trying to pay me with, right? Now, at first, I didn't know about the codes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, he could at least send it to me on PlayStation. I'm like, who the fuck sends Unico? And then he's like, yo, Port Rock. You can get that shit for a dollar on CD keys. I'm like, what? <laughs> you small motherfucker. Ah, yo, hey, yo, ain't gonna yo, lie. It's crazy how this shit went down. I was there. Too. Hey, yo, D was mad as hell. Hey, so yo. I'm like, what? Hey, He's like, yo, this is like a dollar right now. Hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo D was hitting me up. Hey, yo, Z, you got to find the tapes and said he was paid. He was paid, man. Mm -hmm. He said he was paid. I should have paid him paid again. Like, motherfucker, you <laughs> said $20. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That nigga pulled That's why I posted around. that shit that says, I'm going to give you $20 so you could buy that cheap champagne. Yeah, hey, yo. Well, guess I, I ain't get my cheap champagne, hey, dog. Deep pulled, <laughs> de pulled a Dr. Trey. Man, I bet Dr. Trey the weed will go sell to. And yo. then the baby people $50 in eShop points. That nigga yo. pulled a Dr. Trey on you, bro. <laughs> At least you got eShop points. I ain't even got that. Oh, shit. I ain't even take that. give me 14 day Game Pass codes. Oh, hey, my nigga, God. You got an Xbox. I ain't even. Yeah, I did what I did. I took the screenshot. I took the. I took the, I took, he gave me like a 14 day Game Pass and like a one day Xbox Live code. I'm like, hey, you know what I mean? Can so, you use Game Pass already? No, I took a screenshot of that shit and okay. I posted it on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> well, that 14 day ain't work if you haven't used it, but if you already use Game Pass, that 14 day ain't gonna work. <laughs> I didn't use it. What I did was I took a screenshot of it and I just posted it on Twitter. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I'll be like, this is what I think of your fucking Game Pass codes. Yeah. They just posted it on Twitter. CD Did you ever get paid though? Fifty Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed. You never got no. You never no. Got no. You, you never got the twenty. No. Oh shit! I thought they paid. <laughs> no, they ain't paid Oh, hey, D, come on, D. Now, that's hey, what he talks about. When he, when he talks about money, I don't listen to this dude. Oh, no, nah, that's what that man paid you by now. What you thought you wouldn't? He said, I said, nah, I think he was just saying that to me. I don't think he wanted his money, D. Like, why did you get a man at $20? It was crazy. It wasn't even his bet. He jumped in the bed. It wasn't even his fucking bet. D, 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 yeah, D. he's the one that. Yeah. It was between me and you. Yeah. Like, you know, he's like, you're the Puerto Rock. Huh? I'll bet you $20. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm like, no, D. This is between me and Z, because you know he's all emotional. He's like, it's free twenty dollars. I'm like, all right, motherfucker. Yo, fuck no, that yeah, nigga D. Fuck it. You want you want this work? That nigga jumped in the hangout <laughs> and was like, Z. The fuck <laughs> is this nigga Porter Rock? Yeah, he's all I Twitter. paid them. I paid the man. Yeah, yo, on Twitter. Somebody <laughs> he's has fucking with my brand, man. Yeah. My <laughs> brand doesn't like this shit. <laughs> 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 my friend doesn't like this shit. <laughs> oh shit! I don't my bitch. Oh yo, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, he was, yo, he was saying so. He was paid. I paid the man. Yeah. We came to an agreement. Hey yo, <laughs> it was this man. There's no honor amongst thieves. What about got a man of his word? He said he paid. He said he told Z to go back and get the tape. He's like, man, we do a hundred shows. Well, I don't know what show it was, was, bro. He said, you know what show it was. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo. yo. Hey, Eternal E10, what's good? Z, let us show, man. When you upgrade me, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try to get me a new PC at the end of the month, man. I need some new shit in my life, man. Probably get that RX, what was it, RX 280, 280, uh, 2080 Ti, son. I'll probably, you probably see me some around Christmas party. It probably take about a month to get here. Give me some new fly shit. Uh, man, but yeah, that shit was wild. But shout out to God bless the D's. I haven't spoken to D, man. The last time I heard from D when D hopped in when them when them Twitter DMs got leaked by Cape Mega. Uh -huh. So we got yeah. some snitches in here. 
I said, wait, 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 wait,
I don't know. Go ask Phil. Tweet that nigga. I don't know. I don't know. I I mean, some bullshit. I don't want to double dip on that. I, I should be compensated for that shit. At least they should be an <laughs> Xbox X in hands. Bro. It's not even getting that. That's crazy. That's. I don't. Man, I don't Microsoft know. Not even getting in hand. I can't. Yo, some bullshit. That, nah. You move it over to PC for somebody to double dip for a better version with better frame weight and probably playing that 4K, but you won't even get an X in hands version like hey, this. Uh-huh. Hey, listen. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, you're talking about, you're talking about oh, Sunset Online? Yeah, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, that shit's terrible. It's not playing anywhere. That yeah. shit terrible. Hey, yo, it, it's on like the Windows I, Store. It isn't even they, Steam exclusive or anything. They're trying to get them sales numbers up or something. Hey, That's bro, what they who published it though? Is it Microsoft publishing the game? THQ, Nordic, they going through THQ again. Just oh, that's, like, why. That's, why. that's why. That's why. It's that, that's why. That's why. That's why it's not that, playing anywhere. Work with THQ was that now in the negotiations that fuck give us Xbox players a free code or something? Well, well if Sonyak owned an IP, so. No, you know? no. So yeah, because the goes to IP, so uh, yeah, Microsoft. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be honest. Now. I don't think Sunset Overdrive was a successful IP for Microsoft, so they're not worried about it. It wasn't. I mean, at the end of the day, the dollar speaks, you know? I think it's gonna... yeah. And here's the thing. It's not like yeah. people buy a lot of games on the Microsoft Store anyway. Let's yeah, exactly. Man, that's, so that's where it gets both of the sales. That's, really, that's, really, that's really what it comes down to. It. Hop in and it comes straight for a nigga neck. Don't even speak. <laughs> What's hey, up? Look, if Microsoft can get third-party yeah. game playing more, like Shot of War, it couldn't get Sunset Overdrive to be the same. Yeah, yeah. No, Sunset Overdrive is not trash. It's a dope game. Yeah, yeah. no, I want to play like uh, 60 frames and shit, but I'm not yeah, spending more money on it. It's a dope game. Yeah. It's not trash. It's just... It or, just at least give me a chance to do something. It's not a good game. <laughs> 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 but that, hey, that, hey, but that, that's Phil right there working on it. He wanted to work on the Windows. Yeah. Well, he said it, so there you go. Man, they don't give a fuck He's about working on the Windows. Hey, listen. Right. Said, Man. When Kanye say, uh, Joe Bush don't care about black people, Motherfucker, Xbox, <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil don't care about Xbox no more, man. It's a rap. Oh, shit. I, I thought Xbox was PC, PC was Xbox. What the fuck is going on? Who said that? I, I, you know, people motherfuckers saying that. Oh, Showstop! That motherfucker. Uh-oh. He trying to make that. He trying to make man, that claim that PC and fuck, Xbox same shit because they share. Because they share. Because I believe they share, that shit. Because they because they share the same OS. I'm like, okay. Hey, All right, they share their own OS, but I don't see your tactics on Xbox running four different. I think four different operating systems. It, it, it switched between. Hey, yo, hold Listen, up. it doesn't matter how many operations they're making PC exclusive. Yeah, right about that shit. <laughs> that's what they're doing. Hey, yo, hold, up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. He said, man. "What if yeah. Microsoft buys THQ?" Man, okay. fuck that. THQ just uh, brought up like twenty five. But they want a business. Man, this this yeah, is like acquisition. This Nordic is like acquisition. Of shit. Nordic been bad shit up left and right, bro. I yeah, heard they bought the Microsoft. developers that made Dream Daddy. Man, uh, <laughs> Dream you know, Game Grumps made that game. That's what they're gonna make. They're gonna make. They're gonna make, they're gonna make the Xbox version. Uh, Green Daddy. Man, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who made Dream Daddy? <laughs> Yeah, Game Grumps. It's like a YouTube channel. It's like a Let's Play one. They made that fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Game Grumps. <laughs> oh, shit. This yeah. thing is <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a picture of you. <laughs> oh, man. I can't right now, bro. Y'all motherfuckers. It's, it's Xbox in hands, too, right? <laughs> Feel the oh, power. Yes, oh, they got oh, wow. subscribers. They got, they, they got, got boy. They yeah. opened up PXS oh, yeah, 2019 yeah, yeah, like yeah. Dream Daddy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can see. I can see what they made. I'm looking. I'm looking at their page right now. And I, can, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of. Uh, how much is it? It's kind of. Uh, uh, yeah, man. The Windows Store. I want to see this. Bullshit. I can tell the way you look. You're like yeah. this. Oh, man. Sunset <laughs> Overdrive. Look at this shit right here. Green Grump Stream Detroit part. They got his legs crossing everything. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Sunset Overdrive is $20. You couldn't give this to me for free? Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, yo, hey, yo, give me a code. Be, Do it limited time. Hey, yo, nah. I already beat that shit, though. But fuck, I don't give a fuck. That's but I would, I would play it again 60 frames or whatever. No. I'm not rebuying it, though. Oh, I don't buy that shit either, man. But yeah, man. I can see why. I, I, yeah, I can see right now what's going on with this developer here, man. But anyway, but uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we gonna get the hell out of this shit. This video get flagged. I don't, want no, I don't want no smoke with that community. But this is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. If you guys enjoyed the show today, man, shout out to my brother Ian P. Rocking everybody for swinging through. Uh, we out here. Hit the like button, man. We're going, man. Uh.